Hey, this is Frank. I have an engine and transmission about to go into a Toyota RAV4. The engine is a 2AZFE 2.4 liter is replacing the old oil burner engine. And I'm just going to show you a few uh, tips for getting this in successfully. The engine has two lift points. The first lift point is a M10 bolt. Uh, just uh, near the oil filler. The second lift point is right above the transmission. It's also an M10 bolt. I use a load leveler. This is not required, but it does make the job easier by leveling the engine and transmission assembly. The engine has to go in with the mounting points removed. Then once it is in place, we can reattach the, the mounts so right there on the passenger side is the engine mount and on the other side is where the transmission mount will go i hope this gives you a good vantage point of what i'm about to do and let's go so there the engine is at about the right place and at the right level and what i have to do now is install the mount so right there i have got the mount bracket onto the frame and i've got the engine and the transmission at just the right level so the through bolt can slip right through without any resistance and then I can just put the nut on the end for security and we'll tighten this later. Now we move on to the other side. On this side I've got the motor mount on its bracket with one nut and one bolt and then it's just a matter of wiggling this back and forth and adjusting the elevation so that the holes for the motor mount match up with the bracket underneath. So there I have all bolts threaded with just a little bit of wiggling. There's the bolt that goes into the fender. There's the front bolt and there's the rear bolt. They've all been started. And there's also a nut that you must put in from underneath onto the stud. And now we're ready to hang the engine on its own weight. Now that the engine is supported on both sides, transmission side and engine and timing cover side, I'm going to release the hoist and let the engine just hand, hang on the car. So there went a quick and easy engine installation. Of course, there's a lot of more details and parts that have to be refitted, but we've literally done all the heavy lifting. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.